Hey everyone, today we're taking a look at a laptop from MSI. It is the GE66 Raider, but this is the Dragon Shield Limited Edition model. So it is decked out in this kind of crazy orange paint and this, I guess, Dragon Shield uh, kind of design with the space plane and everything. So this was sent to me by MSI. I will be returning it in a couple of days, but let's get into this. Let's open this box and see what this laptop looks like. So firstly, you get the foam. And oh, okay, wow, it comes with a model of the plane. So this is the Dragon Shield plane, which is on the box. So I guess you get to have a model plane when you get the laptop, which is pretty cool. And then underneath this, I'm guessing is a laptop. Well, no, there's a stand. The plane comes with a stand, so you can put this up. And I'm guessing underneath this, wait a minute, there's nothing here. Wait, where's the laptop? Oh, wait, oh, there's another box. Oh, there it is, let's go. So besides getting a model plane with your laptop, you also get a full-on mouse pad which spans the size of your desk. It also comes with a gaming mouse. So this is the MSI gaming mouse. Uh, on the bottom, there is a button. You press that and you can change the different lighting effects on this mouse. Uh, it is perforated, so these holes actually go into the mouse uh, and it is very, very light. Uh, you can change the DPI settings by pressing these two buttons up here. Pressing the down one will make it a bit slower. Pressing the up one will make the mouse a bit faster. So apart from all the accessories that come with this laptop, the main reason why you are buying it is because of this crazy design on the outside. Now this design is done by someone called Coley Wirtz. They are a Marvel and Star Wars concept designer. He specializes in designing spaceships. So that is exactly why the laptop comes with a model plane. This laptop is designed to mimic the outside of a spaceship. So on the top, you'll feel kind of the lines and etchings on the surface of the laptop, almost like the panels on, on the spaceship, especially over the GE66 logo. If you run your finger over it, you can really feel the divots and the lines over the top of this. Now this design runs through into the inside of the laptop as well. So as soon as you open it, you'll notice that this orange strip runs through on the side of this laptop. Now, MSI did interview Coley, um, you know, for their marketing campaign. And he did mention that he purposely put this on the side where your palm will go so that hopefully one day when you use this over time, you may wear off this paint. And as you wear off the paint, it'll get closer and closer to looking like a battle-worn, you know, starship straight from the, the movies. So that was his, his idea. Um, and maybe one day that will actually happen. So cool design aside, this is still a laptop. You're still gonna have to use it. So let's take a look at the ports that you have available to you. Starting from the left, we have a full-size USB-A port, a USB-C port, and then a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Moving to the other side, on the right side now, we have two USB-A ports, and then in the middle, we have a full-size SD card reader, which is pretty good. And then finally, on the back, we have a display port, a USB-C port, which also supports displays, a full-size Ethernet port, a full-size HDMI port, and then this weird looking port over here looks like USB, but it's actually the proprietary power adapter. So the power brick plugs into this port. The speakers for this laptop are on either side. So these are the speaker grills, and this is the other side, the speaker grills on the right. And sorry to say it, but um, they're not very good. So moving on to the inside of the laptop, the keyboard experience is also quite important when you're choosing a laptop because you are kind of stuck with this keyboard unless you know, you're happy to change to an external keyboard. Now, to me, this feels pretty good. It's got a decent amount of travel and the keyboard itself is not too clicky and not too loud. Uh, I am a fan of the silent keyboard. Uh, if you are used to like a mechanical keyboard, you know, this is not mechanical, uh, it's just the uh, scissor switches. So it feels fine to my touch, but if you are after a mechanical keyboard, this is, this is not it. The trackpad on this laptop is great. It does use the Windows Precision Drivers as most laptops do now. So it does support your two finger to scroll, your two finger pinch to zoom, 
and it does support all the gestures that Microsoft Windows has for your trackpad. Now this wouldn't be a gaming laptop without some RGB. So yes, this keyboard does support RGB and it is fully configurable with different themes and you can also customize it yourself in the software if you want. Apart from the keyboard, there is also this RGB light bar at the front here. Now by default, it's on the Dragon Shield theme, which kind of changes from orange to this pink, then to blue, and then slowly back to this pink again, and then back to the orange. So the orange is meant to match the color of the Dragon Shield laptop on the outside. And I think this theme actually matches the whole thing very well. All right, so as soon as you open up this laptop, the star of the show is this panel up here. It's a matte panel, so it's not glossy, and it's 1080p, so it's not 4K, but the reason why it's the star of the show is because of this down here. It's a 300 hertz screen. That means this screen can refresh itself 300 times a second. Now, you might be wondering, can the human eye see 300 hertz? And I can tell you now, I can definitely tell a difference. Now, even just moving the mouse cursor around or dragging some windows on the interface here, everything just looks buttery smooth. As soon as you fire up a game, it becomes even more evident. If you're playing a first person shooter, for example, and you're just kind of moving your gun around, looking side to side, everything just looks way smoother than any other display I've ever seen. It looks absolutely amazing. Now, this can't be a laptop video without some specs. Now, the model I have in front of me is the GE66 Raider 10SFS. What a wonderful name. And it has a i9 CPU inside. It is the 10980HK model. And it has a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 Super, and it has 32 gigabytes of DDR4 memory. And the most amazing spec is actually the battery. It comes with a 99.9 .9 watt hour battery. Now, if you're not familiar, that is actually the largest battery you can actually safely take onto an airplane. Now, specs aside, can you actually play games on this laptop? Of course you can. It's got a GTX 2070, it's got an i9 processor, it can play, you know, whatever games you throw at it. Uh, games like Valorant and Overwatch, which is the ones that I kind of play all the time, I'm consistently getting at least 120 FPS throughout the session. It does never drops below 100. Uh, I know the screen is 300, but if you max out everything, the game doesn't actually play at 300 frames per second. But that is okay, 120, 140 frames per second, that is plenty good enough. Looks absolutely buttery smooth to my eyes. And I dare say, I got more kills using this laptop. MSI has partnered with Intel and is running a promotion with uh, their laptops at the moment. So if you do buy one of their laptops, you can get a promotional code to redeem the Avengers Marvel game. So if you are interested in that, all the details in the description below, check it out. So should you buy this laptop? Yes, if you are a hardcore space fan, but this laptop is insanely expensive. It is over 6,000 Australian dollars. I don't know what that is in USD, but this is absolutely crazy. It is an amazing laptop, but this is for the die-hard fans. If you love Marvel, if you love Star Wars, and you really want a spaceship-themed limited edition laptop, then go for it. But if you are a regular person that just wants a gaming laptop, there is a regular G66 that you can get. Uh, that is probably the one I would recommend. Uh, this machine is amazing. You can play all sorts of games on it and the screen is absolutely to die for. So I hope this was useful and thanks for watching. Oh wow, you can actually move this, this gun. What? Wait, what? Duet coach, second screen connected for, what? What the hell is this? All right, MSI, if you are listening, please, Turn this thing off. Every time you press Control D, this duet coach comes up. And it is super annoying because Control D is something you press in games all the time. Control for crouch, D to move right, and then you die. So pro tip, if you are gonna play a game, make sure you turn off this dragon center here. So the duet coach is from this duet display. Uh, I don't know why you can't turn off the hotkey setting without plugging in an extra screen, which I don't have at the moment. So you're kind of screwed until you actually exit it from down here, and then you're good. So now if you press Control D, nothing happens, and you can game safely.